velocity the velocity required to throw an object the velocity required to throw an object so that it crosses earth's gravitational field it crosses gravitational field of earth gravitational field of earth now first we will discuss what is the gravitational field of earth i told you earlier also but again i am just writing the formula only so this is the earth and the gravity r is the radius of the earth hmm? so earth gravitational field e is given by gm divided by the r square and r is the distance from the center of the earth okay so this is basically r this distance is r so at any point the earth gravitational field will be this but we want that we we have to throw our body from the, uh we have to throw the body so that the body should cross the earth's gravitational field so from the surface suppose we are throwing the body from here this is the body and i am throwing this body with some velocity and i want that this body should cross the earth's gravitational field so where the earth's gravitational field will be zero when this r will become zero so you can write at r, at r is equal to infinity earth gravitational field will be zero and e is the earth's gravitational field gravitational field so it is it is becoming zero at infinity means you should give a velocity to the object initial velocity to this object so that it can travel a infinite distance so that it can travel a infinite distance so to escape the body to escape the body the body should have the body should thrown the body should thrown such that it reaches at infinity because when the when suppose here is some body and th when this body will reach it to the infinity this is infinity and here the earth gravitational field will become zero so this when this body will move to infinity now on this body there will be no effect of the gravitational pull or gravitational field what is happening due to the gravitational field gravitational field will attract this body towards the center once the body will reach an infinity there will be no effect on the gravitational field on this body okay and this body will move away from the gravitational field or maybe this body can stop here also okay so so to escape the body the body should thrown such that thrown such that it reaches at infinity basically for the escape velocity for the escape velocity the body we want that the body should reach at infinity okay <clears throat> now we will drive the expression for the uh, escape velocity so this is the earth and having the mass m 
and having the radius r. This, this is the body on the surface having a mass m, a small m, and this body is thrown so that it body will reach at infinity. At infinity, the earth gravitational field will become zero and there will be no influence of that gravitational field on this body and this body will escape from the gravitational field of the earth. Okay. So suppose this is the mass m and I have thrown the mass m with the escape velocity. If I will throw the mass m with the escape velocity, it will reach to the infinity. And here, suppose the velocity of this body becomes zero. Maybe the velocity of the body may not be zero. It will cross is that. But I am assuming that here the velocity of the body is zero at infinity. At, at infinity, the earth gravitational field is zero. So now there now I require the formula for the <clears throat> potential energy. So if there are two masses, are there the potential energy of a two mass system is given by minus g into m1 into m2 divided by the distance between two masses. G m1 m2 divided by r. And one more thing I tell you, if this r will become z infinity, if this r will become infinity, so the potential energy will become zero. So at infinity, the potential energy is zero. At infinity, the potential energy is zero of any system. So what we will do to calculate, basically, this is this condition is given. We are throwing a body from the surface of the earth with this velocity, with escape velocity, and this body will reach at infinity where its velocity will become, final velocity will become zero and we want to find this velocity v. Okay, so now <clears throat> we are assuming that the, here is the only earth. No pl planets are around earth, we are assuming that and there is no friction force also. Okay, there is no friction force. There is no air resistance on here. Here is complete vacuum. There is complete vacuum. So if there is no effect of friction, we can apply the conservation of mechanical energy. Very important. Conservation of mechanical energy. Conservation of mechanical energy. What is conservation of mechanical energy? For this earth and this mass system, initial kinetic energy plus initial potential energy is equal to final kinetic energy plus final potential energy. Final kinetic energy plus final potential energy. So what is the initial kinetic energy of this system? Hmm? Earth is at rest. We are assuming that Earth is not moving. It is at rest. So there will be the only kinetic energy. This mass will have this mass will have the kinetic energy half m into V e square. So it will have the kinetic energy of half m into V e square. Initial potential energy. So potential energy of this system, this Earth and this mass is here. This is the initial condition. So initially the potential energy will be minus g m into this m divided by r minus g into capital M mass of the earth, mass of the body divided by the radius of the earth. Final kinetic energy. Finally, this body will have zero velocity. So final kinetic energy is zero. Final potential energy. Finally, this, bo this body will be at infinity. This body at it will be infinity. So potential energy of a system of ma mass and the earth will be zero. Or you can say this body will have zero potential energy at infinity. Potential energy will be zero. So potential energy at infinity is equal to zero. So this is zero. So from here, you can write half mve square. This is equal to g into m into m divided by 
R. Now this M will be cancel out with this M. So you will have V E square divided by two G M divided by R. So escape velocity you will get under root of two G M divided by R. So this is the formula to calculate the escape velocity. And this formula you can apply for any planet. Any planet means other than Earth also if any other planet planet and there you want to calculate the escape velocity. So what you will do? You will throw the body in such a way that the body will reach at a point where the where there will be no effect of the gravitational field of the planet of the Earth. So basically this formula you can apply uh, when body thrown from the surface of the earth okay this is the first condition you can apply this formula when body thrown from surface of earth and this is earth or any planet also so you can write here valid for any other planet valid for any other planet also. So for any other planet, you will put the mass of that planet, radius of that planet. And or you have to remember that you will, you are throwing the this body from the surface of that planet or that earth. Okay. After that, I told you one thing, the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth, that is the G, that is G value. What is, what is that formula of that? G is equal to G into M divided by R square. I told you that. So from here, you can calculate the value of G M. So you will get G R square. Now in escape velocity, we have G M. So instead of GM, we can put GR square. So escape velocity can be written as 2G R square divided by R. One R is cancelled with one R. So escape velocity for Earth can be written as under root of 2GR. This is this, this formula is valid for Earth only. Okay, this is the escape velocity. of object projected from earth surface only. Why I am saying this formula is valid for earth surface because we are using the value of G and this is the G value for the earth. Okay. Understanding? Yes, sir. Okay, so this is the escape velocity when you are throwing anybody from the surface of the earth. And now you can calculate this. You know, you know the value of G at the surface of the earth. You know the radius of the earth. So uh, G value is approximately equal to 9.8. Hmm? meter per second is square and radius of the earth is six six four double zero kilometer so when you will convert this into meter it will become 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 meter so put the, when you will put this value here so it will be 2 into 9.8 into 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 and this value will be will come out to be approximately 11.2 kilometer per second kilometer per second and this is for the earth this is for the earth okay so what we did this is the escape velocity under root 2 gm by r under root 2 gm by r 
and for earth we will use under root 2 gr and that value is equal to 11.2 km per second 11.2 km per second okay so now we will solve one question one or two questions hmm. so the question is this is the earth r is the radius of the earth and there is a mass or a object which is at a at a height h that is equal to the radius of the earth okay this is the object of mass m so we have to find the escape velocity of mass m escape velocity of mass m means from here at which velocity this mass should be thrown so that it will escape out the escape out from the gravitational field of the earth so find the escape velocity of mass m not always we will throw the body from here we can throw the body from here also from some height also from the earth surface so this is the earth surface this body is at a height r plus r 2 r from the center of the earth and h or r from the surface of the earth so in this case we have to find the escape velocity options are given first option is 11.2 km per second option number b 5.6 km per second option number c option number c is 7.9 Kilometer per second, and option number D is six point one kilometer per per second. So for one option, uh, you can cut without using any formula or without solving. This option you can cut down. Why? Because earlier you were throwing the body from here, and you are getting the you are getting the escape velocity of eleven point two kilometer per second. now you are now the body is you are throwing the body from some height so obviously th obviously the escape velocity will decrease hmm? there will be less escape velocity as compared to 11.2 km per second from here this body or for this body the distance uh, to escape from the earth gravitational field will be less okay so this option will will not be correct option okay you can cut this option because distance is increased from the earth surface when you will throw from the earth surface this will be the escape velocity when you will throw the body with some height above the earth surface the escape velocity will decrease okay so now we will solve this question so we want to find the escape velocity escape velocity means uh, one more thing uh, you should you should know the condition for the escape velocity is one more condition is there mm. you can write this condition here mm. 
you can write this condition here it will help you for solving numerical total energy total energy of body becomes zero now read it again to escape the body the body should thrown such that it reaches at infinity at 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 infinity the body is total energy the total energy of the body will become zero total energy means kinetic energy plus potential energy of the body will become zero for escape without velocity the total energy at infinity is zero so this concept we will apply otherwise we already know the at infinity kinetic energy is zero okay and potential energy is also zero so i am throwing this body suppose with the escape velocity v so this body will reach at infinity at infinity and here the velocity of the body will become zero and we we can say that the total energy of the body uh, at infinity will become zero or either we can use kinetic energy plus potential energy will be zero because potential energy is zero because body is at infinity this mass will reach at infinity then potential energy of the system will be zero and kinetic energy will be zero because velocity is becoming zero so you can now use the conservation of mechanical energy how you will use the conservation of mechanical energy conservation of mechanical energy means initial kinetic energy of the system plus final kinetic energy of the system initial kinetic energy of the energy of the system plus initial potential energy of the system equal to initial uh, final kinetic energy plus final potential energy so kinetic energy initial plus potential energy initial kinetic energy final plus potential energy final so initial kinetic energy the you are throwing the body from here so initial kinetic energy will be half mv square okay half mv square initial potential energy initially this body is here so what will be the initial potential energy gmm gm1 m2 divided by r and this time what is the value of r potential energy is minus g m1 m2 divided by r r is the distance between the centers of two body so distance between center of two body is 2r this time r plus r 2r so you have to put g into capital m into small m divided by 2r so it will be and like that is also negative minus g capital m small m divided by 2r and total energy of the body is zero for the escape velocity kinetic energy is also zero potential energy is also zero why kinetic energy is zero because body will become at rest when it will reach at infinity and potential energy is zero because at infinity the potential energy is zero now you can solve it uh, it is half mv square this is equal to g capital m small m divided by 2r m and m will be cancel out so it will be 2 and 2 will be cancel out it will be v is equal to under root of gm by r under root of gm by r so you can multiply this with 2 so, and you can divide with 2 so under root 2 gm by r is what under root 2 gm by r is the escape velocity when you are throwing the body from the surface and here is one under root 2 so this value is what for the earth 11.2 divided by root 2 the value of root 2 is 1.414 so you will get approximately uh, 7.9 km per hour and your on your this option is correct mm. hmm this option will be correct
सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू मासेज आर देयर एम वन एंड एम टू दीज आर टू प्लैनेट्स यू कैन से दीज आर टू प्लैनेट्स एंड हेयर इज अ मास एम From this planet, the distance is r1. From this planet, the distance is r2. Of this mass, we have to find the escape velocity of this mass. Of mass m. so how we will find in this case again what we will do we will apply the concept total energy of this mass for the escape velocity at infinity will become zero suppose this mass is thrown with a velocity v and this mass will go to the in, to infinity okay and at infinity the potential and kinetic energy or total energy of this mass will become zero and this v is the escape velocity v is escape velocity so what you will do for this whole system you will apply initial kinetic energy plus initial potential energy is equal to final kinetic energy plus final potential energy so initially this mass all this masses are at rest so initial kinetic energy is zero initial potential energy initial potential energy of this system this potential energy due to this system of masses potential energy due to this system of masses so it will be so due to this system of masses it will be minus g m1 m divided by r1 minus g m1 into m divided by r1 and for this the potential energy will be minus g M two into M divided by R two, and this total energy is zero. Oh, oh, oh. Initial kinetic energy will not be zero because initially we, the velocity will have some kinetic energy because initially it will have some kind some kinetic energy. Then now it will go to infinity. It will be half m b square. Sorry, and this is equal to zero. Total energy is equal to zero. Kinetic energy final is also zero. Potential energy final is also zero. so from here you can write half m into v square this is equal to g into m1 into m divided by r1 plus g into m1 into m2 m2 into m divided by r2 from here this m will be cancel out from all the side and you will get um, velocity value you will get v square by 2 you will get this so v square you will get uh, 2 gm1 by r1 gm1 by r1 plus gm2 by r2 so you will get the escape velocity as under root of 2 times of G M one by R one plus G M two by R two. So you have to apply the conservation of mechanical energy. okay please take the screenshots i think now you know what is the escape velocity
Tell me when completed, okay? If you will note down, then it will take more time. So it is better to take these screenshots. Done? Hiba and Dibyangi done? Yes, sir. Okay. Please take this screenshot. You can write a small d in chat box. So is chat enabled? Hmm? Chat enabled? Oh. Yeah? Of course. Is it not enabled? Sir, I can send to learn if you're not you. Okay. So you can send to learning view, so, uh, send a message to learning view. Is it working or not? Send it the message? Yes, sir. Okay, so you can speak, okay, when completed. I will see it. This one is completed? Hiva and Dipyanki, this one is completed? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Okay. So take this screenshot. Then after this, we will solve many, uh, one very good question. Then. Okay, I am zooming. Okay, now you can take another screenshot. Done? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, take this screenshot now. Okay. Okay, now take this screenshot. Uh, just a minute. This is the answer. Okay, now take this screenshot. Done, sir. Hmm. Now take the screenshot. Actually, na, this is 1.4. Uh -huh. It is okay. Put this.
Then, yes, sir. Okay. Do this. Okay. So now we will discuss. Uh, suppose this is the earth surface. Suppose this is the earth surface, and I am taking one body from. Suppose this is the earth surface, okay, and I am taking one body from surface of the earth, okay, from the surface of the earth to a height h. We will see what is the potential energy. So, uh, can you tell me? Suppose this is this body is having a mass m. And this is the surface of the earth. And I am taking this body at a height h. At a height h. Hmm. What is the potential energy of this body? Tibyangi, can you tell me what is the potential energy when I am taking a body at a height h above the surface? Above surface of earth. Hmm. This is the this is the surface of the earth. Suppose okay. And I am this this body is having a mass m, and I am taking this body at a height at a height h, okay, at a height h h above the earth surface. Means this distance and the distance between this body is h. So what will be the potential energy of this body? Minus g uh, capital M small m upon uh, radius of earth plus h. Hmm. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> But uh, this will be, this can be also the answer, na? And you can also say that if this is the earth surface, suppose I am taking one word body of mass m to a height h. Suppose now this mass m is here and this height is h. So we say the uh, the potential energy of this mass m. When taken from the surface of the Earth is mgh. So what is that? So this thing we will uh, clear today. Okay. <clears throat> Change in potential energy above the surface of the Earth. So we will derive that mgh. We will see from where we are getting that mgh. so this is suppose the body uh, this is suppose the earth and a body is placed on the surface of the earth and this body is taken to a height h above the surface of the earth so during this process we want to find the change in potential energy so this is the initial position of energy uh, this is the initial position of the body this is the final position of the earth hiva are you getting yes okay so this is the earth having radius r and mass capital m mass capital m after that we will do that question <clears throat> after this 
So I am taking this mass m from here to here. So we want to find the change in potential energy of the body. So change in potential of the body you can find now very easily. Minus gm1 m2 divided by r. So initial initially what is the uh, potential energy? Minus gm into m divided by r. So initial change in potential energy is basically first you will find the initial potential energy of earth mass system that will be minus g into m into a small m divided by r final potential energy this side is h final potential energy is equal to minus g into m into a small m divided by r plus h now change in potential energy means final minus initial delta u remember the symbol delta u is representing change in potential energy of this system so it will be final potential energy minus initial potential energy final potential energy is minus g into capital m small m divided by r plus h minus initial potential energy this value minus g m m divided by r minus g m capital m into small m divided by r so now we have this minus g into m into small m divided by r plus h uh, plus minus minus becomes plus so it will be g into m into small m divided by r so you can take common g m m you can take common um, so you can take common g m into small m you can take common so you will have 1 upon r minus 1 upon r plus h so don't confuse here this is plus 1 by r i have taken here this is minus 1 when you will take this term common so here it will be minus 1 by r plus h so now g m m now take this lcm r plus r r into r plus h is will be the lcm so you will have r plus h minus r from here r and r will be cancel out so what you will have change in potential energy g into capital m into small m uh -huh. divided by r r plus h into h also will be there okay this is the change in potential energy Hmm. I told you that the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth will be g is equal to gm divided by r square from here you can find the value of gm that will be equal to gr square now this gm value you can put here so delta u you will get gm is equal to gr square into m into h divided by r into r plus h and this and this will be cancelled out so delta u will be mgh mgh divided by r upon r plus h basically this is the exact formula this is the exact formula mgh divided by r upon r plus h so now why we say delta u is equal to mgh Okay, I am telling the reason. Delta U, when you will further simplify it, it will become MGH. And you can write this as um, R plus H divided by R. Further, you will solve it. It will become MGH divided by R by R 1 plus H by R. 1 plus H by R. So delta u basically you will have mgh divided by 1 plus h by r. Now from this expression you can see r is the radius of earth, h is the height above the surface of the earth. Generally what happens na, when you throw the body, you throw the body to suppose uh, 1 kilometer, 2 kilometer, 5 kilometer, 8 kilometer, 10 kilometer, 20 kilometer, 50 kilometer. But radius of earth is 6470 kilometer. So this ratio, H by R ratio is very, very small. H by R ratio is very, very small means radius of the earth is much, much greater than the height. Then this term will become zero. H by R will become approximately equal to zero. So here will this 
वन प्लस एच वाई विल बी वन सो डेल्टा यू देन यू कैन राइट देन यू कैन राइट डेल्टा यू इज इक्वल टू एम जी एच इन वर्क पावर एनर्जी इफ यू हैव स्टडीड दैट चैप्टर सो यू हैव डन दिस मेनी टाइम एंड नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल डू नॉट नो दट चेंज इन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज दिस एम जी एच आर अपॉन आर प्लस एच दे ओनली नो दिस एम जी एच बट दैट इज दैट एम जी एच इज द स्पेशल केस बेसिकली when radius of the earth is much much greater than the height so in general purpose for the general purpose purpose we use this because this height through which height to which the body is you you are throwing the body is very very small if suppose i am saying that i am throwing the body if i am throwing the body to a height r by 2 hmm? if suppose this is our surface i am throwing the body From the surface of the earth at a height r by two, and in in that case I want to find the change in potential energy. So in that case, the change in potential energy I can write I cannot write m g h. This will be this will not be the answer. That you will here you will write delta u will be m g h divided by r upon r plus h, and it will be delta u is equal to m g h. This will be r. R plus R by two. So delta U is equal to m g h. It will be two uh, by three. So you will get delta U is equal to two by three times of m g. And it is R by two, no? This will be h will be R by two. R by two. So this will be your answer. So you will find some of the questions. in some books that uh, they will throw the body, body to a height of r by 2 or uh, means at a height which is comparable to the radius for 2 meter 3 meter uh, for 2 kilometer 3 kilometer for 8 or 10 kilometer you can neglect it or you can use this formula but when the radi when the height will be comparable then you will use this formula delta u is equal to mg s divided by r plus h okay so first take the screenshot done okay done na so oh, just wait uh, one more thing is there this is change in potential energy not the potential so change in potential energy means final potential energy mane initial potential energy so what we assume na uh, we assume that at surface we assume at surface the potential energy is zero at surface of earth we assume that zero so you can say initial potential energy of the body will become zero so delta u means final potential energy minus the initial potential energy is equal to mgh so initial potential energy become zero and final potential energy you can say is u so basically if a body is taken to a height of h the we say the potential energy of the body is mgh so basically in that case we assume that at surface the potential energy is zero so this is basically the assumption sometime hmm now take this screenshot for the view Answer. 
Oh, actually, uh, uh, I've done one mistake here. This is S, na? So, hmm, hmm. right, right. It is okay. Okay, you can take the screenshot. Done? Yes, sir. So proper concept you should know. Okay. So I have one question. Uh, that question is of 2015 JE advance. Done? Yes, sir. Okay. Now the question is so that question I will give you for the homework. You should try that that question. Very good question. Uh, here is the earth. Suppose this is the earth. Okay. And here is a mass M. And this mass M is projected with a velocity V. And this mass is reached here. Okay. And this height is H. Hmm. Hmm. Reached at this height. Reached here. Okay. And here, this mass is at rest becomes at rest becomes at rest where means at this position the acceleration due to gravity g dash is equal to g by 4 so this is the velocity so what will happen now you know in general case surface of suppose uh, this is the earth surface you are throwing the body so what will happen this body will go up and when you will when you this body will go up when this body will go up there will be the gravitational pull. Okay. So, so the speed of the body will decrease and, and there will be a, there will be a point where the speed of the body will become zero. So that, that is given here. So here the speed of the body is become zero. So this is the point where V is equal to zero. Hmm. Okay. So a body is is thrown with a velocity v. This is this this is given in the question. This is also given in the question. This is all all things are given in the question. One more thing is given. The escape velocity of the body is equal to the velocity with which the body is thrown. Means there is a relation given under root of capital N. You have to find the value of n. And V is the escape velocity. So you have to think about it. Then you can solve this question. And I am giving the hint, hint. You have to apply the conservation of mechanical energy and the concept of the escape velocity. Okay, this is the, the this is the question where you have to uh, combine both the concept of escape velocity and conservation of mechanical energy. So you can solve this question. So this is your homework. And in the next class, uh, we will discuss the <clears throat> satellite motion and capital laws and we will finish this chapter. Okay, so uh, you can take the screenshot. Uh, now you can take the screenshot. Done. Hibak, done? Yes. Sir. Okay, so we will meet in the next class with new topic. Okay. Thank you, sir.